Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here in front to show you that the rafters on the west side are all done now. So now we have rafters on the east side, rafters on the west side, and also uh, you can kind of start to see the, what the shape of this uh, front southern wall is going to be. We have a window here that's the same size as all the rest. It's a different glass though. These have low E glazing to keep uh, heat from escaping from the house during the winter and to keep summer heat from going in. I think the second one there is a little bit silly, but th that's the kind of glass we have here. This one, we just have regular glass. So in the winter, when we get a low angle of sun, it'll get right in there. It'll help to uh, warm up our greenhouse area over there. The other area here, obviously, is just a door. The door is not going to be here, though. It's tucked in on the side here so you can get in out of the rain. If it's raining, you come home. You don't want to be fumbling with your keys when you're at the door. You can be out of the rain here. So it's all coming together really, really well. Here, I think it's encouraging to see the stuff all up. There's still a lot left to do on this, but we're only 15 days in on both greenhouses, and I, I'm really pleased with the progress that we have. The other big piece of news that we had today was that the rough electrical inspection happened today while we were here, and it went really, really well. There's only two things that we have to add to the house. One is a smoke detector in the utility room. It's, it was a little ambiguous as to whether that was actually required for us or if it's just kind of conventional. The idea being that normally people uh, who have a furnace or a boiler or something like that would have it in the utility room. We don't have anything like that. We just have the wood stove and we have like solar panels that are heating the water. Uh, but it's considered conventional. They asked if we could put it in, so I guess maybe someone in the future, they add a furnace in there, there'll be a smoke detector ready to go for that. Not a big deal. Uh, the way the wiring worked out, we kind of anticipated that might be asked of us, so we made it so the wiring wouldn't be too hard to like just pull one wire, replace it with something else, and you're good to go. Uh, the other thing that was asked of us, and again, not a surprise at all, is uh, we have to ground out the system. Now, we have two grounding rods that our original electrician that made all those crazy mistakes uh, put over by the, uh, the meter panel that, that uh, is kind of considered our, uh, the power main over there. That's our main panel. The panel that we have in our utility room is considered a sub-panel because there's a bunch of distance between the two, and we have to ground both of them. One over there is already grounded. We've got to get some grounding rods on this one. Now, uh, had we done it the way that it's, uh, you know, was expected to do, uh, you know, and the electrician hadn't, you know, forget to do all this stuff, we would have been able to ground that right to the rebar that's in the footing of the foundation. He forgot to mention any of that kind of stuff to us, so we didn't do it. But you know, it's savable. We have a pass-through that I had added to the foundation early on for any kind of future use going out to the greenhouse. Here's the future use right here. We're going to run grounding wire from our panel out to the greenhouse over there, and then we just have to attach it to two, uh, two eight-foot long grounding rods. We're getting uh, either copper rods or five-eighths of an inch uh, in diameter, and we just have to drive them into the ground. Easier said than done. There's ledge all over the place. If you guys have been watching the series, you know it's ledge, 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 ledge. We're going to hit ledge when uh, we're going down. You know, you can't, you can't drive anything eight feet into the ground anywhere in New England, I think, and not hit a massive rock. So I was just asking, well, can we take the grounding rod and just kind of like bend them up and bury them like horizontally in the, in the greenhouse? It's like you still got the surface contact. They said you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. You have to drive them down vertically uh, into the ground. But if they happen to hit ledge and then start just kind of going horizontal for a while, that's totally fine. So they can be bent up. They can be horizontal, but only if it happens by accident and you don't know about it. So we're going to do the best we can putting them over there. I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but that's good. That's a huge hurdle uh, cross for us. And now that unlocks our ability, now that we have the electrical inspection done, to sheathe the entire front of the house, the side of the house, the inside walls. We can do all that stuff, and I'm really excited to get going on that. That's it. Thanks for watching.